Hello, friend. <laughs> Cinemondo Podcast, your favorite podcast. Your favorite podcasters. <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> Kathy, oh, Mark, I didn't need to laugh so hard at that, but. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. It's you my know, we love doing podcast. trailers. It is my favorite podcast, too. Me, Absolutely. too. Um, but I'm kind but, of biased because I sort of have a connection to it. There is yeah, a connection, yeah, emotional yeah. connection to this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, we're talking about an action thriller that's coming out called Boy Kills World, directed by Maurice Moore, produced by Sam Raimi. Uh, and um, starring Bill Skarsgård, who's always interesting. That's the one for me. When I heard he was in it, I'm like, I got to see this. <laughs> also, uh, some, an interesting cast. Um, H. John Benjamin is the is the narrator of the voiceover. You know his voice from tons of things. Super recognizable. Yeah. Um, Char Charlotte Copley, who's a great, uh, he was in District 9, great South yeah. African actor. He's in this. Um, Jessica Roth, who was in Happy Death Day. So uh, Michelle Dockery, cast. Michelle Dockery's in it. Oh, really? Yes. Now, what do we know her from? Downton Abbey. Oh, okay. She's one of the main characters from Downton Abbey. So oh, she's wow. having fun Ooh, in this. Okay. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Well, uh, it, I, I don't know much about it. I think it's based on a graphic novel. Mm -hmm. um, so let's check out the trailer for Boy All Kills right. World. Okay. We're I'm ready. Let's do ready? it. Here we yeah. go. <laughs> okay. Sound speed. <laughs> This was never a great city, but it was ours. Are you with me? Always. Until Hilda van der Kooy took it from us. This is how she keeps control. They call it the calling. They're all gonna watch and cheer as you die. That's me, facing <laughs> televised execution by breakfast cereal mascots. <laughs> Not my happiest day, but let me take you back to an even worse one. The day the Vanderkoys killed my family and left me deaf guns. and mute. So I made a three-step plan. Step one, give myself an inner voice. I took the last one I remembered from this video game. Player one wins. Step two, get stronger. A lot stronger. Yeah. And step three, join a team. <laughs> Welcome to the resistance. Yeah, go, go team. The mission is simple. Make the Vanderkoys pay for what they have done. Insert crazy action montage. You fall in love. is in I know how hard it is to get a serial company to sponsor mass murder. Wow. You ring the bell. time. I don't like this plan. You have reached your final destination. <laughs> oh my god, no! I have information. I'm gonna help you. Stop! Yes. Nobody wasn't gonna help us. Definitely sounded like he was gonna help us. <laughs> Very odd choice to have an inner voice and not have Bill Skarsgård say anything. It's just weird to me, but it, yeah, looked, well, I think yeah. it was weird. Well, I, I guess I, I, I was like, why is his that voice with Bill Skarsgård? But then they explained it that it's like from the video yeah. game. That's pretty funny. I really like the origin. Yeah, yeah. Of that. <laughs> funny. So it looks super violent. I mean, I Whoa. was thinking it was more like a, like a PG film. You know, I don't know oh, why no. I thought that, but no, no, it's hardcore gore. I get lots and lots of gore was kept... fun. <laughs> I don't know why I kept expecting the voiceover to say, I'm going to be king of the pirates. It just, <laughs> it, it's got a, it's got a very distinct style to the humor. Yeah. And, and sometimes that'll sort of park something in a, in a very distinct date. You know what I mean? It puts it somewhere on us mm -hmm. on the, in an era, like, you know, the year 2023 or 24 and, 
in a certain style, almost like, okay, we're doing this now. You know what I mean? Almost what like would you say this is? galaxy kind of vibe, but it's got that, we're, it's got that kind of pop culture, you know, video games and, and um, anime kind of thing. And like yeah. giant guns and the whole thing of like, wow, gigantic gun, bigger gun. And finding the sort of humorousness in the excessive excessiveness of certain anime media, video games, mm -hmm. and violent horror films and things like that. Science fiction overload, science fiction kind of ideas. And in that respect, I think I just judging by the trailer, I feel like it's a little bit maybe trying too hard to sell me that. If it's kind of going for a video game vibe, though, it kind of makes sense. Like if he's kind of style if he's found kind of his identity through a video game that the super violent kind of mortal Kombat games it kind of makes sense right. the movie would look and play like a mortal Kombat movie so i kind yeah. of get it and i, I kind of like the the commitment to the complete over the top you know like fisheye lens on the weapons pointing right at you and it's you know big things saying die and and the idea that he can't speak which is weird but also it's funny when you see you forget how tall scars guards are <laughs> it's like when he's on screen he looked huge compared to the rest of the cast <laughs> god yes. they're just crazy but you know i i enjoyed being actually able to see Skarsgård's face in this because we didn't see much of him in it which is you know he played pennywise in it um so it looks like he's just having fun i mean imagine you get to come in you get just to be like very physical you get to leap around you get to kind of lighten it up a little bit but you have no lines to remember <laughs> Well, he was he was he was in Barbarian and the same people who made Barbarian, but he was in there for like the first you know forty five minutes, and that was so about nice. It. And then yeah, he was yeah. Like, yeah. It was great um, to see my feeling on this is like I've seen sort of that over the top action stuff. Like there yeah. was a movie called Crank, and there's like oh yeah, there was right. something called it is uh, like that yeah. Loaded Up or something with Daniel Radcliffe, where it's just way over the top, you know, just crazy cartoony action. Yeah. Um, and a little of that goes a long way for me personally, but uh, that doesn't mean it won't be entertaining. It'll just be that yeah. kind of film. So, yeah. um, and they have not, some A-list talent. I mean, we got a great cast, and yeah. the concept of the inner voice narration, whereas nor you know narration can technically be kind of annoying when you have people explaining, but it looks like this Absolutely. being kind of quirky and quippy, and it's like it's it's how he's thinking because we can't he can't tell us because he can't speak because I guess they cut his tongue out or something, but I don't know what's happening there. But yeah. So there's that. And right. you got that other name on there on the credit, Sam Raimi, who is yeah, very for, Sam Raimi. I think yeah. Sam Raimi, um, I'm going out on a limb here to say that Sam Raimi may have sort of invented that kind of over the top That's violence. Weird. In uh, if you watch something like Evil Dead 2 from oh, 600, yeah. 600 <laughs> years ago, um, that style people are still riffing That's on true. that style of um, overload violence and the. And the the sort of humorous the the humorous aspect of extreme violence, you know, if if that's a thing, uh, Sam mm -hmm. Raimi sort of tapped into that many many years ago, and true. he did it so well that I feel it, it's and and he did it in a way that was fresh and and um, hilarious. You never saw something like yeah. that in nineteen eighty seven, yeah. but we've seen wish, a lot of it since then. You know, I wish they'd so. made this movie back when Bruce Campbell could have been the, the yeah. boy. And that they yeah. would have had him not be mute and he would have had Bruce Campbell quipping his way through this insane movie. I would have killed for this. Yeah. I would have killed well, the world for Bruce too, Campbell was. to make this movie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. So I good. Mean, darkness kind of vibe. Oh, yeah, very much. Very much. But yeah, it's so this that, looks like it'd be fun. Yeah. It's got that kind of thing. You know, Robert Rodriguez was kind of pushing yeah. on that in, right. in some of his films and that's true. And um a f you know, several other John Wicky type um films and it's it's all um, that, you know. Yeah, and they are fully committed to their concept and they're going with it and they're not holding back. And I, I right. appreciate anyone's not gonna pull their punches and it looks like they're right. <laughs> and the, yeah, and the over the type hyper, you know, yeah. realistic action stuff, you know. So yeah. if you're into that, this seems like you know, your your Super cup of fun. tea. Yeah. Check it out, Crazy. boy. All right. Kills, boy kills world. world coming soon, coming end of April. Check it All out. All right. Okay. Bye. <laughs>